Hello everyone. So I have an update on my unique 290L fridge. Uh, I want to basically tell you guys I had an issue with this thing. And the issue was the temperature. Uh, it kind of scared us to be honest with you. I mean I was getting 7 degrees Celsius on the top shelf and two degrees Celsius on the bottom shelf. Like I could not regulate the temperature. And I looked at those little box fans with the batteries and I thought, you know what, people complaining about them, people not complaining about them. So I figured I'm gonna come up with my own solution. So I did and now I'm gonna share it. So I went on Amazon and I bought a fan it's like a, they call it a blower fan. So it's right there. It sucks in. It's, it's actually backwards. It's a cabinet fan. So it sucks in and then it blows up the back. And it's really doing a good job. We're out camping right now. And uh, here's the temperature. Let's see if that focuses here. It's like four degrees Celsius on the bottom shelf and we're looking at a temperature setting of four. So anyway, so I bought this fan, it was like 23 bucks. I tried it with a battery uh, bank and had it in last weekend, it worked great. So I thought, okay, I gotta make this more permanent. So what I did is I shortened the cable. The good thing about this USB cable, it's literally just two wires. There's a, a two wires and they're pretty thick, so it's durable. So you cut that to the length. I still gotta do the other side of this switch and this switch here too, it's adjustable, right? You can change the switch. I guess got mine on medium right now, but I think even that's overkill. Low is better so anyway I thought I'm not gonna run a battery bank in here all the time so what I did and I didn't want to drill a hole in the back of the fridge so what I did is I bought a USB extension cable and I basically cut it in half and drove it through the drain plug now it's got a drain this week when we get back home so if it's bad I'll update that but what I did is I cut it and then I put the because you're not going to get the tip through that hole right the hole is too small so I ended up cutting it and then I also wanted I didn't want to make it uh, permanent by you know like soldering the tips together again so I ended up getting one of these little clips so I come down the tube right I come up and it's rubber so it's gonna be waterproof cut into that cut into the other half of the cable and then it basically goes into that that I bought so I'm actually using the 12 volt power source that came to the fridge originally because I made my own uh, 12 volt power source right from the battery, thicker gauge wire. But you got these two little eight gauge, eight gauge wires here. I think these are, well, they're a higher gauge, but I don't know what they are, but whatever the standard is, uh, I use those to power up that so now I don't have to worry about my battery bank dying on me all the time and it's been working great like I said my temperature has dropped a lot um, we used to have it on seven and uh, now it's down to four and uh, the temperature is way more even and yeah it's it's doing a fantastic job now, so anyway, just a 
little heads up, a little idea for somebody who might be having a problem with this fridge not cooling properly. Alright, thanks.